Good morning, guys. This is Danielle. And, um, actually, I'm coming on here. I'm not coming on for a haul or, um, makeup or anything like that. I want to share with you guys if you know anyone and some of, some of the, um, Hodgkin's, um, community had, uh, left comments on my, uh, cancer story. I have, um, uh, some information for you guys. Um, if, if you have Hodgkin's, I don't, I'm not sure if it's just for a Hodgkin patient, but, um, there's this new, um, drug out for any of you who had, um, other chemo and it didn't work out or, um, uh, a transplant, it's for, it's a trial, it's a trial, and if you didn't have, um, uh, if you had a, um, transplant, um, you're qualified, you should be qualified, and you have to find out if your insurance will okay it or not. So, it's called, just ask your doctor, I'm not sure, you know, just ask, if it's available where you live at, or I'm not sure of that. But it's called, um, it's Citrix, it's Citrix, it's A-D-C-E-T-R-I-S, and it's, um, it has been approved by the FDA, and um, what it does is you go into a room. I haven't did it yet because they're going to call me sometime today to see if I'm um, to set up my appointment because I am a candidate because I've gone through so much chemo, and I have gone through um, a, a transplant. I had my own stem cells. Um, I had my own stem cells taken, and then they preserved it, and did, what did they do to it? Um, I was on this machine for like three hours. They took all my stem cells off. Mind you, I, my, my, my immune system was wiped out. Everything was just wiped out. So they took my stem cells, and they put it in some type of protein, and the protein made me either, it, when I got it back, it made me either smell like onions or cream of corn, so, I smell like cream of corn, but anyway, that's what the, I guess the protein did something with the blood, and, you know, all that, but anyway, I still, I had a PET scan, um, last week, and, um, believe it or not, it was last Tuesday, so I had an appointment yesterday for, to, to talk about my, I have, I had some decrease and I had some increases. I had some more lesions, I guess. Um, soft tissue. It's in my chest area, and I've been having bad back um, problems. And that's where there's a tumor on my rib cage and my on my left on my right side. So that's where the pain is because there's a tumor on there. And it, she said that it's eating up the bone or something. That's what causes my pain. So, <clears throat> it's there, and um, in the groin area, I have tumor there. But, my blood count came back excellent. Like, all my blood type, when your blood type drops, or, or if your blood, your fever globin and all that drops, then there's, you know, there's a problem. But, Everything stayed good. All mine was very good. Um, some areas dropped a little, but not by much. So, um, she said, I'm a perfect candidate in this drug. Okay, what you do is go in to your doctor's office. They do is they give you a needle to straighten your arm. Because usually you need a pick line. But you don't have to get a pick line. Um, unless your veins is all blown out. But since mine aren't, do it in my arm, and it's 30 minutes, and then that's it. 30 minutes for every three weeks, one day every three weeks, and um, it has, let's see, um, your, the side effects is neuropathy. I have neuropathy, so it'll be, 
you know, you'll have that neuropathy which your joints and your your feet or your legs are hurt a lot. Um and your blood count may drop. Then they'll give you that shot, the Nuprogen, um, the Nuprogen shot, or you last the shot. They will build it back up. But um, there's very minimal side effects. Um, you may get nausea. Um, uh, which is very mild, and she tried it out already on someone, and they were perfect. The only thing happened was the next day he had diarrhea, but after that he was good to go. But it doesn't affect everybody like that. I'm just saying those are some of the side effects you may get, you may not. Depending on how, um, where you're at in your, um, you know, how you feel, um, what else, what else, what else, um, loss of hair, she said, I think 10 out of 100 didn't lose their hair, they, it's, it, uh, thinned a little bit, but it's very mild, it's not like, oh my god, I got a clump of hair, so I may not even lose my hair, um, or it, it may not even thin out, so, um, So, yeah, let's see. Weight decreases. Um, 102 patients, it was like six. Um, yeah, so it's it's not it's not as harsh as a lot of the other drugs, but it attacks the tumor directly. Instead of attacking your whole body, it attacks the tumor. It goes after the tumor. Boom, 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 and it'll go after that. So you take it, I think, for six weeks, it, and I'll have it like six to seven, she told me six to eight times I'll get it done. And they, I think they do it up to 16 times, I believe. But most will probably be, I'm oh, sorry, I got too much lip gloss on. Um, six, six, eight times. So... Um, ask your doctor about it, um, if you're a candidate for it, um, and it's called Acedric, A-D-C-E-T-R-I-S. I'll have some of the, I'll have the, um, I'll have, um, the spelling of the drug in the, uh, comment below, in the description box. Um, let's see. Yeah, um, chills, mm, 13 people out of 100 may occur, it might not even occur, it's like very minimal, um, uh, fatigue, you're going to have fatigue, that's with any type of chemotherapy or something, you get really tired, um, then you may not, depends on the makeup of your body, um, and the success rate, 80% that has um, seen improvement. 38% you're in remission. So that's very good numbers. 38% you're, you're in remission. So 30, yeah, 38% out of 100 is in 38 to 40 in remission. 80%, um, a high 80% have saw some improvement. So those are good numbers um, for this. So, let's see, because my, my doctor gave you this information, this paper. But you can go online and punch it up. You might not get a lot of information, but you can also, you can go online, and then you can also ask your um, doctor, your um, oncologist about it, too, and see if they give you any information about it. But you can also go online and just type up, etc., and see what comes out. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time, but that's a new drug that I'm going to be trying, and I will come in and let you guys know how it, how I feel, um, how it, as I'm still doing my day-to-day -day work, because I'm still going to the casino after it. 
Um, it's on Tuesday. I usually go on Tuesday nights, and uh, I'm still going. You know what I mean? I I never let this thing get. I'm like, okay, I can deal with it. I'm cool. Um, I always find it like that. I always like find it like it was a cold or something. I stay strong with it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm still going to be going. <laughs> and um, let's see. Yeah. Um. But I feel great. It's just my back sometimes at night. But other than that, I feel wonderful. So this will make me feel, you know, my body usually always takes to these things. And the treatments, um, it just goes after it. So then I have to get this taken care of so maybe we can lose some weight. Because I'm trying hard to lose weight, guys. Hard. It's hard to lose weight. Especially when you have... What I'm going through, um, this Hodgkin's. A lot of times my doctor didn't want me to lose weight because the cancer, I lost so much weight that, um, and it wasn't me, it was the cancer. The cancer, I went down to a hundred and three pounds from, uh, I think I weighed two, two hundred and thirteen or something. I went down to a hundred and three within like three months. Too fast, guys. Too fast. And it wasn't me. I thought it was me. I thought I was just working and not eating after a certain time. No, it was the cancer eating up that. So it was probably good that I was as big as it was as big as I was for, you know, to to you know, but with these steroids they pump through my body, I can't shake this weight. I'm like, hey, and I love to eat, so I don't eat that much. But I love to eat different things. I don't eat much. I eat my three my little meals a day. I much my thing is I crunch on stuff. I like to crunch stuff. Usually sunflower seeds or something like that. But yeah, I can't lose this weight. I try it. I maintain, but it's hard because then I have a thyroid problem. So it's underactive. So I try to make myself work and work out. But I can't work out, and I'm in pain. So, what am I going to do? Because <laughs> I try to, I try to push myself. It's usually, there's neuropathy. My back is all jacked up. So, I, I do walk around the block. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's just off the topic of what I'm talking about here. But yeah, I'll have information at the bottom of this uh, video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.